we will be doing four assessments today growth physical and ent eye and dental now we will be uh, taking you through a video on how to fill the omr sheet each omr sheet has the following attributes admission number class section gender of the child full name of the child the school's name and the date of birth of the child we will now start with the growth assessment the growth assessment has two parts the height in centimeters and the weight in kgs let us assume that the height of the child is 112 centimeters so we will mark it as 1 and shade the bubble 1 in the first column then we will mark another 1 and shade the bubble 1 in the second column similarly we will shade the bubble 2 and the bubble 0 the 0 must be shaded in each case now we will move on to the weight let's assume the child's weight is 18.8 kgs in this case we must start with a 0 so we will shade 0 1 8 and 8 now we will move on to the physical assessment the physical assessment has the following attributes hygiene general signs head lymphatic skin cardiovascular respiratory abdomen neurological orthopedics and deficiencies suspected in case any condition is found for the child there are some conditions already mentioned on the right hand side of these parameters you may mark these conditions in case the condition is not mentioned you may circle others which is a space provided for entering any remarks you may have which are different from the mentioned conditions there are some conditions which are shaded in red these are abnormal shape bony swelling scalp swelling scalp bruising in the head section coming to skin we have scabies impetigo and herpes in the cardiovascular section we have abnormal heart sounds murmur in the neurological section we have slurring of speech and abnormal body tone in case any of these have been marked by you please ensure that you have correctly marked these points Please do confirm with our on-ground team and inform them in case you are marking them. Now we will flip the page to the second side. In this side, after you have finished the physical assessment, if you would like to mark any consultation, any follow-up or any suggested investigation, you may do so within this section. In case any investigations are not mentioned, there is a column called other tests which you may circle and you may write the name of that test. In case you have any remarks, there is a remarks box given below and you may write the remarks as per your observations. After you finish the physical assessment, please mark the doctor number that has been assigned to you by our on-ground team. Now we will move on to the ENT section. Here we have right ear, left ear, nose, oral cavity and throat. In this case, we definitely have to mention any of the parameters that might be present within the child, such as tinnitus, pain, malformation, discharge, earwax, etc. In case there is any suggested investigations of the ENT assessment, you may mark or mention them here. There is a remarks column where you can write any remarks. Followed up with this, you must again enter your doctor number which has been assigned by the team. This doctor number will act as your signature and it will be the same doctor number you entered for the physical assessment. Now we will move on to the third side which is our dental assessment. The dental assessment is done by the dentist. It will cover chief complaint, if any, which is present with the student, oral hygiene, habits. In examination of teeth, we have the DMFT index. We have malocclusion. Then we have 
an examination of gingiva which is stains calculus and then we have the suggested investigation section in case the child has any investigations in correlation to any condition that you find you may mention it here such as scaling filling orthodontic treatment or extraction etc in the dmft index we must be extremely sure that if we are shading a particular tooth in a particular quadrant we must also mention if it is decayed missing or filled such as being shown to you on the screen so if i have mentioned a decayed tooth i must mention the tooth number and shade that number as well in this case i must shade tooth number 7 now we will move on to the eye assessment in the eye assessment it must be made sure that the assessment is performed without spectacles in case the child is wearing spectacles we will make sure that we mention it in the remark section now the eye assessment has the right eye and the left eye and this is the visual acuity in case the child has a vision of 6 by 6 it must be mentioned in both the right eye as well as the left eye the clinical section deals with problems such as conjunctivitis squint blepharitis etc in case any of these conditions are found there is a suggested investigation section where in any follow up might be mentioned or any remark might be added please ensure that after the dental and the eye assessment a doctor number is marked this doctor number will be the doctor number assigned to you by the on ground team now we have come to the end of our omr sheet please speak to our on ground staff in case you have any issues or problems in filling the omr sheet now we will talk about some common errors that you might make in the omr sheet first of all the omr sheet must not be filled by a pen a pen marking would not be a valid marking on an omr sheet it should only be filled by a pencil secondly the only allowed mark on an omr sheet is the marking of a full circle you must not make a tick mark a partially filled mark a scratch across the bubble circle the bubble from outside or make any stray marks on the omr sheet in the physical assessment dental eye and ent assessment if the child is normal you can leave the omr sheet blank you do not have to write the word normal on the omr sheet If you must write a remark please make sure that the remark is written in capital letters any remark written in small letters or cursive handwriting will not be scanned by the machines